And hey there, and welcome back to the Wondershare Dr. Phone channel. We're here with our latest updates and resourceful information for you. I am Francisco, and today we're going to talk about how to restore iOS 15, 14, and 13 by putting your iPhone into recovery mode with or without the help of iTunes. So is your iPhone completely irresponsive or is Slay just not operational anymore? We're not, as we're going to help you figure out the complete way of restoring your iPhone and remodeling it to perfection. And before we get along with the first method, please make sure to subscribe to our channel for such latest updates. And let's get started with that. So for part one, how to restore iOS 15, 14, and 13 iPhone in recovery mode with iTunes, which is going to result in all of your data being erased. For starters, we're going to look across the method that will help us restore an iPhone by using iTunes. However, it should be kept in mind that this method will erase all of your data from your device. So we advise that you have a proper backup of all of your data across your iPhone in order to recover it later on because we would not want you to lose all of your data because you went for this method. Since the problem is evident and your iPhone is not operational, you should really consider opting for this technique by following the steps that I'm going to provide you with coming right up. So step one is going to be to connect your iPhone to your computer through a lightning cable. And once done, please proceed to launch iTunes on your computer. And then you now need to go ahead and force restart your iPhone to proceed with the steps of restoring your iOS device. However, it is important to be aware of the steps for putting your device in recovery mode. So for iPhones 8 and later, press the volume up button followed by the volume down button. And then once done, hold the side button or the sleep wake button of your iPhone even after you you see the Apple logo until you see the connect to iTunes logo appear. For iPhone 7 and 7 Plus, just press the volume down and side button or sleep wake button simultaneously and hold them to find the Apple logo that's going to appear on your device's screen. Keep holding the buttons until you observe the connect to iTunes screen showing up for you. For iPhone 6 and older, you need to press and hold the home button and power button of your iPhone. And then just hold the buttons until you see the connect to iTunes screen appearing right for you. The computer will then show a dialog box that will display the message of a problem with the iPhone. And to counter this issue, you just have to go ahead and click on restore from that pop-up window that's going to show up for you. And then just give it some time to complete. And once it's done, you should be good to go from there. So for part two, we're going to talk about how to restore an iPhone with iOS 15, 14, and 13 without iTunes and recovery mode, which is actually going to result in no data loss. So losing data can be quite problematic in many ways. We also believe that you should not have to go through this mess while recovering or restoring your iPhone. Due to issues with iOS, many people do consider losing all of their data to the process that they consider. However, we have an impressive solution for you under the belt, and this one should work out for you since it will result in no data loss. And this is going to come in the form of Dr. Phone System Repair for iOS, which has been specifically designed to protect the iPhone and save it from becoming useless due to some unprecedented reasons. And with the help of this tool's impressive modes, you can save your iPhone and restore its iOS without putting in any effort. However, I'm still going to be walking you through every step-by-step -step process in order to do it correctly. So step number one is going to be to launch Dr. Phone on your computer and then proceed to select system repair from the available options on the homepage and then connect your iPhone to your computer using a lightning cable. On this section, the screen will ask you to select a mode and then proceed by clicking on standard mode to avoid data loss. And the tool is just going to automatically detect the iPhone model and, and it's going to display the available system versions for you as well. As it displays it on screen, I need to verify the information and then correct it if needed. And once done, go ahead and click on start to initiate the process. Now the respective iOS firmware downloads on your device. As it downloads successfully, Dr. Phone is going to verify the download and then go ahead and tap on fix now to install it across your device. And then once that process is done, a doctor phone is going to let you know right off the bat. And so, have you become aware of the best available methods that can help you restore your iPhone's iOS? Well, we surely try to bring in the best for you. And if you're satisfied with the provided information, please make sure to hit that like button and comment if you look for any kind of improvements from our videos moving forward. We always look forward to going through your comments. Also, subscribe to our channel and leave a like. And also, please make sure to click on that notification bell so that you're always updated on future videos and updates moving forward. So with that said, until next time, I'll see you.